Welcome to Real Girl Talk Podcast Radio. Welcome back to Real Girl Talk Podcast Radio. I am your host, Sherry Ricard. I am a medical professional, author, adversity recovery specialist, and co-founder of Silver Lining Wellness Company. I love sharing my faith and bringing you fascinating guests, Friday fire messages, thinking outside the box, sharing ideas for business, beauty, and lifestyle abundance, and always committed to keeping it real. Now let's level up and let's dive in. Hey beauties, it's Sherry. This is Real Girl Talk Podcast and I am your host. And today we are going to have a Friday fire that is going to fill you up. Say that five times really fast. It is the power of favor. And what is the power of favor? What God has in your future can't be accomplished on your own. The places he's going to take you, you can't get there all by yourself. There will be obstacles that are too big. You know this. Dreams that you may have that seem impossible. You're going to need assistance for where you're going. What's great is God has put something on you and in you that gives you an advantage. Something that will open doors you can't open. Something that will make you stand out in a crowd and it's called Favor. Favor will cause opportunities and good breaks to come to you. Favor will take you from the background to the forefront. Favor will give you preferential treatment. Maybe you weren't next in line, but you got that promotion anyway. On paper, maybe things don't make sense or it's not looking really promising, but for some reason, the loan that you were after went through anyway. That person that was against you in the past, for some reason, They changed and now they're for you and they want to support you. Maybe you were looking for something special and then boom, it just marked its way down just in time and happened right in front of you and you don't have any idea how it even appeared. These are not just coincidences, friends. That is called the favor of God. We can, of course, work hard and be faithful, be diligent and resilient. I'm all about that. That's all important. But there were only take us to a certain level that we can go as far as we can. Our education can only take us as far as it can take us, as far as our background will allow us. But when God breathes his favor on you, things will happen that didn't make sense on its own. Opportunity that you didn't see coming, the right people that are placed all of a sudden in front of you, you meet them from another friend or a coworker, and then boom, something that you've been searching for happens and you have the right connection at the right time. And maybe it happened and you didn't even have to pay for it. And you thought that you were. I heard one touch of favor is more than a lifetime of labor. And I believe that just one good break, one phone call, meeting the right person can suddenly catapult you to a whole new level. You've worked hard. You've been faithful. You've honored God. Now get ready for favor. Get ready for favor to show out in your life. He's about to do something unusual, something that you haven't seen, good breaks, things that are going to be working for you. Maybe you're going to get that promotion and maybe you didn't deserve it. Maybe you weren't next in line. You can't explain it. You can't take credit for things. The favor of God is just on you without any explanation. Right place, right time. That's called God's favor. He intervenes when we least expect it. I'm going to tell you, God told Noah to build an ark above 450 feet. Noah wasn't a builder. That wasn't his profession. It seemed impossible, but God will never ask you to do something and not give you the favor to do it. You have the favor, but the question is, do you have the faith? Are you going to talk yourself out of it because you don't have the faith in what God has already instilled in you that you can do? I don't have the money. I don't have the resources. I don't know the right people. I don't have the natural talent. That's okay. You have something that makes up for all of that. And that is called favor. You have favor on your life. Don't misunderstand. It's good to have our education. I'm huge on that. Just ask my son. I drill it in his head on a daily. But education is not enough. 
Talent alone is not enough. You need favor for where you're wanting to go. You may not know the right people, but don't worry because God does. He already has lined up divine connections for you. I know he's done it for me. People that are going to come in your life and use their influence to open doors and give you opportunities that can push you forward when you thought it might take years to happen. You don't have to manipulate situations. You don't have to manipulate people. You don't have to try to convince them to like you or compromise your values in order to get what you want. If someone is not for you, friends, you don't need them anyway. Don't waste your time trying to win people over. The people God has lined up for you, they don't have a choice. (laughs) They're going to like you anyway, but they will also want to help you anyway. They will go out of their way to be good to you. You don't have to find them. They're going to find you. That's called divine connections. You keep honoring God like you've been doing, believing and expecting the favor on your life, and that will cause the right people to show up in your life. But the people in Noah's day, they did not care anything about God. They were living wild and partying and worshiping idols. God was so upset. He was about to destroy the earth and bring a great flood. You know this story. He could have wiped everyone out and started over. But the scripture says Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. Why did he find favor and not all the people around him? They were about to perish. The next verse says, Noah consistently followed God's will and did what was right. Noah could have compromised. He could have done whatever he needed to do to fit in, done what everyone else was doing, but he made the choice to walk in obedience. When you honor God, when you keep him first place, you will find favor in the eyes of the Lord. There is a blessing on your life that will push you up when others are going down. Having favor doesn't mean you won't have challenges. Let's just set that straight right from the beginning. But favor is what's going to keep the challenges from defeating you. You may be having some difficulties right now. You may be having people come against you. You may be having some disgruntlements in your family or your friend group. Your business may have slowed down or you may have just been laid off which is not uncommon in this economy, unfortunately. Sometimes God will put you in a situation so he can show you his favor. One definition of favor is to endorse, to bring to prominence, and to give notoriety. If you ask someone to endorse your book, for instance, which is what I've had to do, you find a person that has more influence, more credibility, a bigger following. That's who you want to endorse your book, right? When they put their name on your book because they have such a prominence, that instantly gives you more credibility. We've seen it over and over, over, right? Oprah, let's use Oprah as an example. Oprah Winfrey, if you remember, she used to have the book club. When she would endorse a book, what would happen? (laughs) The author may not have been known, but nobody's heard of them. Without the endorsement, the book may have sold, I don't know, a couple of hundred copies, maybe even a thousand if they were lucky. But when she got on her talk show and said this is a great book, you should read it. The simple endorsement from Oprah would cause it to sell hundreds of thousands of copies. Don't I wish Oprah still had her book club (laughs) because I would be knocking at the door. It's great to have people's endorsement. You need that with jobs, right? We ask for references for people that may have a higher influence than us to be, have, be a reference for a particular job. You need to get ready because the creator of the universe is about to endorse you. God is going to make things happen so big, so amazing that people will know it could not have just been you alone. When God endorses you, his favor causes you to overcome what looked impossible. How'd your business get so successful? How'd you get so far ahead? People will wonder what's going on with you. How did we go to the same school and you've been this far ahead? Because God endorsed you. He showed his favor to you. So people will know that you belong to him. This is what happened to Daniel in the scripture. Favor didn't keep Daniel out of trouble. Remember, the trouble was a setup for God to endorse Daniel, to bring him into prominence. 
Daniel was just a teenager living in a foreign country. The king made a decree that no one could pray to any god except the king's god. Well, Daniel worshiped Jehovah. He made this decision and he wasn't going to compromise just like we should never compromise our faith and our God. So he kept praying like he always did. Some people saw him and ran and told the king, Tattle tells the king had Daniel thrown into a den of hungry lions. I know you remember this story as a child. That could have been the end for Daniel. But for some reason, hmm, the lions couldn't open their mouths. Favor doesn't keep you out of the lion's den, friends, but favor will keep the lions from harming you. Does that make sense? The next morning, the king went to check on Daniel. And when he found out he was okay, he said, okay, from now on, we're all going to worship the God of Daniel. When they brought Daniel out, the king had the people thrown in where Daniel was that were not going to be worshiping Daniel's God. Before they even hit the bottom of the pit, the lions tore them apart. The people saw and they knew the Lord was on Daniel's side. So he set all of that up. So you would know that the favor of God was on Daniel. And at the same time, look what happened with the king. God is going to do the same things for you. He's going to bring you into prominence. He's going to bring you to new levels of influence and credibility. People can debate what they want to say, but they can't debate what they see. When they see you running a company or paying off your house, graduating with honors, when they see you breaking bad habits, beating that cancer, or getting good breaks and opportunities, when God endorses you, you come out of the lion's den unharmed. You accomplish dreams way over your head. They're going to know that it was the hand of God on your life. And that's what God does. God is about to bring you into greater prominence, but you have to have the faith. And you also have to declare his favor out loud. That goes into the word of God. We've been in the background before. We all have been in the background before. But when you serve faithfully, helping others and not expecting any recognition, a friend of mine and I had this conversation today about doing things for others and expecting nothing in return. When you do this, your time is coming. David spent years, years in the shepherd's field taking care of his father's sheep. I'm sure at times he thought, I don't have any favor. I'll do it. I'll, I'll never do anything great. I'm stuck out here. Nobody believes in me. The truth is you don't have to have people believe in you. The only person that needs to believe in you is God. And when God believes in you and you, you will believe in yourself. When David defeated Goliath, the one good break, the one endorsement launched him into a new level of destiny and made up for all of those lonely years that he had. You may feel right now that you're falling behind. Maybe you're being skipped over a promotion. Maybe you're not excelling the way you want to in whatever you have going on in your life. It's too late to accomplish a dream. You may be thinking, you know what? I'm getting too old. I've been at this so long and it's, it's not getting any bigger. You think you'll never get ahead or maybe you think you'll never meet the right person. But when God has his favor on you and on your life, anything is possible. What God can do for you in a single moment can put you 50 years down the road. That's the power of God endorsing you. You can accomplish what you could not accomplish on your own. People are going to go out of their way to help you. You're going to defeat giants like David did that are bigger than you. People don't think that you have a chance. They don't know what's on you. They don't see that favor yet. They don't have to. You do. And when you do and you believe and the favor of God comes upon your life, they're going to see it. When God endorses you and when God shows out in your life, there is going to be no doubt to you or those people watching that the Lord is on your side. Now, I have learned the greater the opposition the greater the endorsement. The more the enemy tries to pull you back, the more he that God is going to push you forward. Remember what the enemy does that is meant for harm, God uses for good. God's not going to just deliver you. He's going to bring you out. He's going to endorse you. He's going to put you in a position of prominence where people can see and you're going to have honor, respect, and admiration. I have been through some tough situations. You guys know my story and there's a lot of things that you don't know about me, but I've shared a lot. I believe in sharing because I think sharing helps people grow and it helps people in their own life situations. I think healed people heal people and hurt people 
hurt people. And you know the situations that I've been through in my life. And I know that the one question that I've asked over and over to God when my son died was why? Because again, what the enemy tries to use to destroy me, God will intervene and use for his good. I've seen favor time and time again in big ways and in small ways. Just recently, I'll tell you about the hand of God in my life. Today's episode is sponsored by Buy Optimizers. One of the best things you can do to improve your health is get at least seven hours of quality sleep every night. I know, I know, it's hard to get that much sleep. Your mind keeps you awake. You can't get comfortable. You wake up early and you can't fall asleep again. There are hundreds of reasons why you can't get seven hours of quality sleep every night. But listen, it's super important because your body heals itself when you sleep. And if you're not getting enough quality sleep, you're increasing your risk of disease and making it harder to lose weight. Would you like to know an easy way to get more quality sleep every night? Make sure you're getting enough magnesium. Believe it or not, around 75% of people don't get enough of it, which explains why so many people have sleep problems. Unfortunately, most magnesium supplements are not full spectrum, so they won't fix your magnesium deficiencies or help you sleep better. There are actually seven unique forms of magnesium, and you get all of them if you want to experience its calming sleep enhancing effects. That's why I recommend Magnesium Breakthrough by Buy Optimizers. Simply take two capsules before you go to bed and you'll be amazed by how much better you sleep and how much more rested you feel when you wake up. For an exclusive offer for my listeners only, go to magbreakthrough.com forward slash real girl talk to save up to 42%. Again, you can save up to 42% on magnesium breakthrough when you go to magbreakthrough.com forward slash real girl talk. The favor of God showed up in an instant when I didn't even see it coming. So my husband and I, we've never been to the Keys down in Florida, been to Florida many times, but never the Keys in that area. And we wanted to go. And so I started exploring and there's a social media influencer that I follow. She's a a vlogger and a blogger and she had a resort on Instagram and she was promoting a promo code for 20% off for this particular resort. So I started investigating a little bit. Anyway, long story short, it was just an hour later that I thought, you know what, I'm going to do this. So I got on, booked it, booked a room. And then it was probably an hour after that, we thought, you know what, we're going to bring my son and his girlfriend with us. I wasn't too sure because that would mean double the cost and, you know, double the flights and all that good stuff. But we went ahead, upgraded the room. So we had basically two rooms inside of one. So I knew it would cost us almost double. So a week later, it just dawned on me, hey, I did not get an email that said that I upgraded my room. I don't know why this popped in my head, but because it did, it started to worry me a little bit. And I thought, hmm, I better check on that. I never received an upgraded reservation. So I decided to call. I got this really sweet lady that answered the phone. I told her the whole situation and she confirmed that I had not upgraded my room. But I was like, I know I did. I know I upgraded my room. She discovered that I must have accidentally not hit the save and submit button, which this was just a couple of days before my deceased son's birthday. So believe me, I maybe I did not hit save and submit on the reservation, but I still wanted the room because we had already bought their tickets. So she explained that the rooms were filling up and she wanted to make sure that, you know, I said, look, I want to make sure that I have the upgrade. So after chatting a little bit, Um, she made the reservation and she says, okay, we're all done. So what I asked her, I said, you know, so what's the increase in deposit and what is the new cost going to be? And she said, nothing. I just wanted to be good to you. And I shocked, (laughs) grateful, and actually literally teared up. Not so much because of the savings, which was substantial, but because I knew in an instant that was the favor of God on my life, right when I needed it. Not only did my husband and I 
realized that we had just enough points to cover our flights, we just booked a two-room resort for the price of one because that was the favor of God. It's one touch of favor, just one good break that catapults you to a new level. And sometimes it can be in way financially. It could be just so God is showing out in your life and you know that he has favor on you, or he could be up leveling you as bigger influence and respect. So what I'm saying is God knows how to endorse you. He knows what's going on in your life. He knows how to cause you to be seen in a different light. Don't be discouraged where you are. God sees what's happening in your life. He's keeping a record. He's going to make the wrongs right. He hears the disrespect. He hears people making fun of you when you may not hear them. The scripture says God heard Miriam criticizing Moses behind his back. They might not give you the time of day now, but don't worry. An endorsement is coming not by people, but by God through people, right? He works through people for us. God is working behind the scenes in your life. He's setting you up for endorsement, setting you up for something that you didn't see coming, promotion, influence, relationships. He can thrust you into a whole new level. Romans 8 says all creation is eagerly awaiting for the day when God reveals who his children really are. And what better way to do that than to show favor in our lives? You know, we want to be good to our kids. What do we do? We, we show favor to our children above any other children. We love all children. We love our friends' kids. We love our nieces and our nephews, but we show the most favor to our kids. And that's what God does for us. All creation is waiting for you to come in to the day when you are faithful to God, obedient to God, and you believe that his favor is on you. The stage has already been set. Okay, the audience is in place. You just have to keep honoring God. He's going to show people who you really are. He's going to bring you into a position of greater prominence right when you need it. And you're like, oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Hey, that's not going to catapult you. Remember we talked about before, you can't want victory, but speak of defeat. You can't want wealth and speak of poverty. It doesn't work that way. You have to speak the favor of God. There are scriptures and I have them for you in a free download. If you go back to the description of the podcast, there are 10 scriptures on favor in the Bible that you need to be saying out loud all the time, every day, say them in your car, memorize them, uh, read them at night, read them in the morning. There's 10 of them over and over. You need to be speaking of the favor of God on you, on your children, on your family throughout your life. He wants to bring you into a greater position. Okay. He wants to use you and accomplish significant in your significance in your life so other people can see it. He wants you to shine. He doesn't want to just do small things for you and he doesn't want you to be small in life. He wants you to cat, he wants to catapult you to a new level. People want to, he wants people to see you at your greatest, at your best. He wants people to celebrate you. It's good to cheer on your friends when they have something good happen and you see the favor of God on their life, cheer them on. It's good to admire those that are ahead in life, but God doesn't want you just to be a cheer in the cheerleader mode. He's thinking about you too. But he wants to put people in your life that are going to cheer you on and see God's favor and blessings on your life. Can I tell you there is greatness in you and you have to believe it. It's one thing for me to tell you, you have to believe there is greatness in you. You do have talents. God's already put it there. You have creativity. You have the ability, courage, and strength. He wants that to come out in a greater way. When you come into that day, when God endorses you, people are going to step back and say, wow. I didn't know that was even in them. <laughs> I never dreamed they would shine so bright. God is going to show people who you really are. I'm going to tell you a little story. So there was a young Jewish girl. This is a scripture in the Bible. Have you ever read the story about Esther? She was an orphan. She had lost both of her parents. I love the stories about the women in the Bible. And I will tell you right now, I love the book. I'm going to put it in the description. I'll put a link. It is... The Fox anchor, Shannon Beam from Fox News, she wrote a book about several women, um, the mothers or daughters 
of women in the Bible, something like that. Anyway, I'll go back and get the exact title. I'll put it in the description. I highly recommend that book. I bought my daughter one and I did. And reading the women's story and stories in the Bible is it's very inspirational. So anyway, Esther, she was an orphan. She lost both of her parents. She was living in exile. It didn't look like she would ever do anything great. But one day the king was looking for a new queen and he decided that he would have a nationwide beauty contest where he would choose the next queen. The king sent people out looking for young ladies and they brought back Esther and put her in the contest. But Esther had never been groomed to be a queen, never had training. She didn't come from a prominent family. They lined all the young ladies up in front of the king, and they were all beautiful. Of course, they were all wearing the latest fashion and had the best hair and makeup they could do. I can just imagine the king, you know, was looking through their resumes. Some of them came from wealth and influence, and some had impressive resumes, great education, and stood out in their fields. (laughs) But there were obvious choices that he could have chose from. But for some reason, the king chose Esther, the orphan, who did not come from a prominent family. See, when God endorses you, he will cause you to stand out. His favor will cause you to be preferred by other people. He could have chosen anyone. People can choose anyone from their contacts for something that they're doing, a project or a job. But for some reason, they chose you that you may have a resume that doesn't even stack up to someone else. But for some reason, that hiring manager, your resume stands out to them. They don't know why. It just stands out. That's the favor of God on you having that resume stand out to that hiring manager. Maybe you have a house for sale and there's a ton of houses on the street and they're all going for the same price. But for some reason, your house stands out to that buyer. For some reason, you get that scholarship. There are all kinds of students lined up to get a scholarship, but for some reason, they picked you for the scholarship. God knows how to make you stand out. In other words, he knows how to make you look attractive, like he did Esther to the king. He knows how to make people like you. Sometimes they don't even know why they like you. They just like you. Have you ever thought that about someone? You're like, I don't know what it is about that person, but I just, they're on your mind and they stand out or, or something comes up and they say, do you know somebody that does X, Y, and Z? And this person pops up in your head um, and you refer them because that's the favor of God on their life, working through you for them to stand out. Make sense? They, you can't put your finger on it. You can't always put your finger on it, but for some reason you're going to stand out. God is going to smile down on you and you are going to be the one that is preferred. All the talk about favor and you may be thinking, uh, bring it on, Jesus. <laughs> well, guess what? He's waiting on you, friends. He's waiting on you to declare it in faith. He's waiting on you to declare it out loud. I am sharing with you how the favor of God can change your life in my favorite 10 scriptures on the power of favor. Go back to the description, click on it. It's free download. I guarantee you, you say this out loud and you're going to release. You have to say it with faith. You have to truly believe it. It's one thing to say it. You have to say it and believe it. And then you can experience it, right? The faith causes the experience. I don't want to hear you saying, you know, I don't have training and I don't have experience. Well, guess what? Neither did Esther. She was an orphan for God's sake. Favor is more powerful than your resume. I don't care what your resume says. Favor will take you where other things won't take you. It will take you where your qualifications don't take you. Favor will open doors where you look up and think, how the heck did I get here? I was the least likely one, but I got picked. Esther never dreamed of becoming a queen. She didn't come from a wealthy, prominent family. She didn't have an education. She was an orphan. She didn't even have parents. She never dreamed of becoming a queen. That wasn't even on her radar. But when it came to the day, God endorsed her just like he can endorse you. He can bring you into prominence that you've never even imagined. He can cause opportunity to come your way. Esther wasn't looking for that position. That position came to her. She went from the background to the front ground or the foreground rather. (laughs) Later, Esther used her position. God trusted her. He knew what he was doing because Esther used her position, if you remember, to save the Jewish people from the plot to destroy them. I believe one reason God gave her such prominence is he knew 
he could trust her and that she would use her influence to fulfill her purpose that he had on her life. Mm. I love this. <laughs> Guys, I did a lot of research on favor, so I hope this is blessing you because favor is not just about having a bigger house, although that's great. It's not about having a better car, or more stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. Listen, you know what? I love all of those things. I love things, but that's not why God is going to give you favor. It's to fulfill your purpose. He has shown me favor in this podcast, and I know it's not just for me. It's to reach people like you and for you to have favor and pass it on with to someone else so they feel inspired and it just snowballs and snowballs because our job is to get the word of God out to others so other people can hear it. Other people can open the Bible and research that may have never read the Bible before. These 10 scriptures that you can get right here in the description, you may not have ever read them before until I put them in the free download. Right. So he's going to put favor on this podcast so I can reach people like you. It's not all about me. It's about fulfilling the purpose. It's about advancing his kingdom. When your dreams are tied to helping others, making this world a better place, and you're willing to uplift those that have fallen or are fallen on hard times, when God can trust you, he will take you from the background into notoriety. Now, you may have worked hard and you've been faithful. You've honored God. I'm going to tell you right now, start declaring these scriptures a favor and get ready because the curtain is about to come up. God is about to show his people who you really are. I am believing it and I am declaring it for you. I'm believing it and I'm declaring it for me. You and I are going to come into a new level of prominence, a new level of influence, a new level of income. God is about to endorse you, friends. So I want you to declare these scriptures out loud. Repeat God's word daily. Send the enemy running because he will run when you declare the word of God. People are going to see the greatness that he has already put in you. In Jesus name, I pray this. I want you to go back to the description, click the free download, 10 scriptures that show the power of God's favor and pass this podcast along to a friend, family member, and co-worker. And until next Friday, God bless you. And I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you for tuning in all the way through Real Girl Talk Show. Make sure you subscribe anywhere you listen to podcasts. And if you happen to have iTunes, would you do me a favor and leave me a review on the show? I know you're going to leave me a five star, right? That's the way that I can reach more and more people around the world. Remember, whatever you wish to receive, you have to first give. And I know that you're the kind of person that wants to reach people all over the world and inspire them. You can copy this link and share it with your family and friends. Share it on social media. Remember, people need to be uplifted and inspired more than ever today. Thank you so much for being a part of Real Girl Talk community. And until next time, go after your dreams, create your vision, and truly be the person God intended you to be. Healthy, happy, whole, and full of life. Love you. 